हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम धर्मेश सोनी वेलकम टू कॉर्डिसेप्स ए टू जेड चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट कॉर्डिसेप्स कल्टीवेशन सेटअप इन वेरी लो इन्वेस्टमेंट कॉर्डिसेप्स मिलिटरीज मशरूम इज अ फंगस दैट लिव्स ऑन सर्टन लार्वास ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स इन हाई माउंटेन एरिया एंड ग्रो देयर नेचुरली बट वी कैन ऑल्सो ग्रो कॉर्डिसेप्स मिलिटरीज मशरूम इन कंट्रोल्ड एनवायरमेंट लैब विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट वेजिटेरियन इनग्रीडियंट्स मोस्ट पीपल कॉमनली यूज कॉर्डिसेप्स फॉर एथलेटिक परफॉर्मेंस किडनी डिसऑर्डर लीवर प्रॉब्लम एंड सेक्शुअल प्रॉब्लम कॉर्डिसेप्स हेल्प टू फाइट इन्फ्लेमेशन एंड ऑल्सो हैज एंटी एजिंग प्रॉपर्टीज एंड एंटी ट्यूमर प्रॉपर्टीज एंड इट इज इफेक्टिव ऑन टाइप टू डायबिटीज एंड इट इज वेरी बेनिफिशियल इन हार्ट हेल्थ asthma and thyroid also and there are many disease cordyceps militaris mushroom can controlled if you want to know more about it then check in description box i have given some websites link there on youtube there are many people says for start cordyceps cultivation you need rupees 25 lakh 50 lakh or 1 crore rupees and without the expensive machineries you cannot start cordyceps cultivation in this video I will show you how you can start cordyceps cultivation in just rupees fifty thousand to seventy thousand, and I will show you how to grow cordyceps militaris mushroom without using autoclave, laminar airflow, and rotary shaker, and also give you some information on which alternative equipment you can use for cordyceps cultivation. So don't skip this video and watch till end. So let's start. So cordyceps militaris mushroom is growing in three different level for it we need three different media so first is potato dextrose agar PDA is solid form of tissue culture i will show you how to grow tissue culture in this type of glass bottle generally we are using this type of petri dish for growing tissue culture Second is potato dextrose. PD is a liquid form of tissue culture. I will show you how to grow liquid tissue culture in this type of glass jar. You can also use conical flask for making liquid tissue culture. Third and last media is substrate. Substrate is a media on which cordyceps militaris mushroom fruiting body will grow. The main ingredient in all these three media is potato starch. So first I will show you how to make potato starch. For making potato starch we need some potato. First we have to wash potato properly. After it we have to remove potato skin. Then we have to slice potato like this. Then we have to cut this type of potato pieces. Now we have to take 200 g potato pieces and 1 liter RO water bottle water or you can also use distilled water this is 1 liter composition of potato starch in this way you have to make potato starch according to your need now we have to cook it on high flame till it comes to boil when it start boiling then we have to take it off after that we will filter it by sieve now our potato starch is ready to use now we will make pda potato dextrose agar i will show you how to grow tissue culture in this type of glass bottle if you want to grow tissue culture in petri dish then watch my other video link is available in description box or you can click on i button upside to make pda we need 250 ml potato starch in this starch we have to add 1.5 teaspoon agar agar powder 2 teaspoon dextrose One thing to note here I have not used magnesium sulfate in any of my recipe here because I don't see any big changes in growth if you want to use magnesium sulfate then you can add 0.5 g per liter magnesium sulfate in all recipes now we have to mix this liquid well after that we have to boil this liquid on high flame we have to keep stirring it continuously till this liquid start boiling as it start boiling we have to take it off after that we have to transfer this liquid to plastic measuring jar 
After that, we have to fill the PDA liquid in all these glass bottles, about 20 ml. Then we will need some absorbent cotton. From this cotton, we have to make this type of cotton stopper and fit it on every bottle. Then we have to take this type of pieces of aluminum foil and wrap it on every bottle. Now we have to sterilize this bottle. If you don't have autoclave for sterilization process, then you can use pressure cooker also. I have here 8 liter pressure cooker. You can change pressure cooker size according to your need. Now we will put 1.5 liter of water in the pressure cooker. After that, we have to keep this type of sieve in the pressure cooker like this. Then we have to put all the bottles in the pressure cooker and tie the lid. Now we have to start the induction or gas stove on high flame. At one whistle of the pressure cooker, turn the stove on low flame for 50 minutes. After 50 minutes, the stove is to be turned off and the pressure cooker has to be left for 10 minutes to cool down. This is my inoculation box that I will use in substitute of laminar airflow. Before using this type of inoculation box, clean inoculation box inside and outside properly with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Always use 70% isopropyl alcohol for cleaning process or sanitization process. After 10 minutes, open the pressure cooker and put the bottles in the inoculation box like this sleep position and then leave PDA media to cool down for 3 hours. Now we will work on sterile media. So we have to work by only wearing lab coat, mask, gloves and cap and clean our hands with isopropyl alcohol. We always use isopropyl for all cleaning purpose. After that, we have to heat all the equipments on the spirit lamp. Whenever we are using surgical knife, then put the new blade in the surgical knife. Now we have to clean the petri dish of tissue culture with isopropyl alcohol. After that, we have to cut about half square centimeter piece of tissue culture from petri dish. After it, remove the aluminum foil from the bottle. Then remove the cotton stopper and pick up a piece of tissue culture and place it in the center of the bottle. After that, we have to put the cotton stopper on the bottle again and also put the aluminum foil on it. Then we have to keep all these bottles in dark condition for total 20 days and we have to maintain 20 degree celsius temperature of growing room. For dark condition here, I am using black cloth. You can also use black plastic sheet. If possible, you can also turn off the light in the room to maintain dark condition. After 20 days, here you can see the culture is grown perfectly. Now we can use this tissue culture. Now we will make PD. Potato dextrose, we can also call liquid tissue culture. To make PD, we have to take 250 ml of potato starch. Then we have to take dextrose 1 teaspoon plus 1 fourth teaspoon. Then we have to take pepton 1 fourth teaspoon. And then we will take yeast extract 1 fourth teaspoon. After that, mix all this ingredient well. Here, I have taken 700 ml glass bottle. You can also use 500 ml conical flask. After that, we have to transfer this liquid to glass bottle. After that, we have to make hole on this plastic cap. The size of hole should be approximate 5 mm and stick a piece of filter paper on it with doctor tape.
Now we have to fit this cap on the bottle and put the aluminum foil on it like this. Now we have to sterilize this bottle like our previous process. After 50 minutes of PD sterilization, we keep it in our inoculation box to cool down for 3 hours. After 3 hours, we will inoculate tissue culture in this PD. Before inoculating the tissue culture, we have to clean our hands with isopropyl. All equipment must be heated on the spirit lamp as before. After it, remove the aluminum foil from the bottle. Now we have to take surgical knife and cut two pieces of approximate one square centimeter from the petri dish and put it in the bottle. Then we have to close the cap tight and put the PP bag on top of the cap like this. Now we have to keep this bottle in our growing room and we have to maintain 20 degree celsius temperature in growing room. Now rotate it like this 10 to 12 times in every 3 to 4 hours. In this way liquid tissue culture will ready in maximum 12 to 15 days without rotary shaker and if you do it with rotary shaker then it will be ready in 4 to 5 days. Here I am showing you the fifth day of liquid tissue culture. You can see that small fiber have started forming in the liquid. Now I am showing you the tenth day tissue culture. In this you can see the quantity of fibers almost double in the liquid. Today is 15th day of liquid tissue culture. You can see that our liquid is completely filled with fiber. We need this kind of liquid tissue culture and it is ready for use. After that we have to prepare the substrate. For substrate liquid we need 1 liter potato starch, 2 teaspoon pepton, 1.5 teaspoon yeast extract, 2 pieces vitamin B1 capsule or tablet. And 4 teaspoon dextrose. Then we have to mix all this ingredient well. After that we have to put this mixture in a measuring jar. Here I have taken 400 ml glass jar. Here I am using unpolished rice. You can also use brown column rice or brown basmati rice. Now we have to put 20 gram of rice in each bottle. And then 40 ml of substrate liquid in each bottle. Then we have to take this type of plastic cap which should be have such a hole. The size of hole should be approximate 5 mm and stick a piece of filter paper on it with doctor tape. Then fit this type of cap on all bottles and pack the cap with aluminum foil like this. Now we have to sterilize this bottle like our previous process. After 50 minutes of sterilization process, we have to keep it in our inoculation box to cool down for 3 hours. After 3 hours, all bottles are now at room temperature. Now we will inoculate liquid tissue culture in all this substrate bottle. So first we have to clean our hands with isopropyl. Then we have to clean the liquid tissue culture bottle properly with isopropyl. Then the liquid tissue culture is to be transferred in sterile glass beaker. After that, the aluminum foil is to be removed from the bottle. Now inoculate 5 ml liquid tissue culture in every bottle.
here i am using glass syringe you can also use plastic syringe now keep this bottle in growing room till 10 days in dark condition and we have to maintain 20 degree celsius temperature and humidity 70% in growing room after keeping it in dark condition for 10 days here you can see cordyceps mycelium is covered in the whole rice now we have to start giving light to the bottle in starting we have to give room light to bottle for 48 hours so we have to turn off this floor light you can see here the bottle in low light after 48 hours here you can see that the color of mycelium has changed from white to light orange from today the light of this floor has to be turned on for 12 hours and turn off for 12 hours in a day till 50 days in this condition when you turn off light at that time we have to keep complete dark condition in the room after 10 days in lighting here you can see that the small pin heads are coming out in all the bottles After 30 days here you can see the height of fruiting body has reached at approximate 2 cm After 50 days you can see here fruiting body has reached at 4 to 5 cm approximate and pin heads thickness has also increased from today we have to turn on light for 24/7 till 70 days After 70 days here you can see the height of fruiting body has reached at 6 to 7 cm approximate and fruiting body is look like matchstick shape thick from top and thin from bottom side if you see this type of shape then cordyceps fruiting body is mature and ready for harvesting so now we will harvest it first of all clean hands with isopropyl Now cut the substrate in four pieces like this. After that, we have to remove the substrate and fruiting body from the bottle. Then gently pull the fruiting body from substrate like this. Now we have to dry this fruiting bodies. I am using fruit dehydrator machine here to dry the fruiting bodies. Now the fruiting body is to be spread it on the tray of the dryer. There are 5 plates in this dryer. You can apply as many plate as you want. After that the knob of dryer to be set on 45 degree celsius temperature now we have to turn on this dryer for 48 hours non stop you can see here after 48 hours the fruiting body is completely dry fruiting body is now ready to use you can now pack it in the air tight container if you want to know more about cordyceps farming or if you have any question then you can call me on my mobile number and you can also send me your all queries in comment box i will definitely try to answer all your questions we are providing online full training and practical lab training also if you want growing related technical support or you want to buy tissue culture then you can call me on my mobile number we are shipping tissue culture worldwide if you like this video then subscribe my channel and click on the like button and share this video to all your friends Thanks for watching my video.